Welcome to the Student Pilot Podcast. My name is Simon Callis, a flight school owner. Each week, myself and my guests will be talking all things flight training and beyond to help inspire, motivate and support you on your journey to becoming a private or commercial pilot. Welcome to the podcast today. We're talking all things scholarship, so how to find scholarships and, and usually the, the process. Um, we've got our 2022 Almat Scholarship winner here today, Leo Terrell. Um, welcome, Leo. How are you? Good afternoon. Um, yeah, very good. Bit of a long drive in from Ketrin today, but how are you? Yourself? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, mate. Good. So most importantly, how's the training going so far? So um, I feel I'm on the fast track okay. with, with Almat and I'm really enjoying the progress of it. Um, so every week something new and obviously going over the stuff that I've learned before. Yeah. Um, currently I'm revising for my air law and communications exams. Okay. So, so that I can progress onto the solo. Yeah. Um, so I'm revising through PPL expert, watching okay. the videos, doing the mock tests. Um, they're Brilliant. really helping to see where my progress is at. Um, Excellent. I've got my medical booked for here with... Good. The doctor um so that's a class two medical for the ppl yeah um and after that hopefully i can progress on to the solo brilliant yeah I've, I've heard from your instructors that you're doing really well and and aside from getting those exams done yeah. you know you're, you're pretty much ready and just as a little bit of competition for you because we like to mix things up a little <laughs> bit and give you a bit of accountability we've had two solos in the last week so, hopefully so the next you'll one, be now. the next one hopefully yeah. fingers crossed <laughs> okay yeah. um so well done that's great news great progress and what's been the most enjoyable part of the training so far do you think i'm at a point where i'm practicing the circuits Mm -hmm. and i am really enjoying them i do find the landings a bit more exhilarating than the rest okay Uh, so yeah the circuits are my favorite part brilliant okay so on from circuits then you'll be doing um advanced training handling you know advanced handling rather then moving on to navigation then uh, and so on okay um so we first looked at scholarships a few years back um after our first scholarship success story have you heard the story of jake no i haven't no okay um so jake was from the uh, honorable league of air pilots I'm, i hope i get i always get that wrong honorable company of air pilots okay so he was our first scholarship okay yeah. um and he came to us with a really unusual proposition because he had won this scholarship but kind of left left it for a bit and hadn't really done anything with it came to us and said look I've got six weeks until I go back to university I need to get it done in those six weeks where I'm probably not going to have the time to do it and he managed to get his done in four weeks which is quite incredible I still think it's probably one of the quickest PPLs I've heard um, but that was it wasn't down to us it was down to him okay he just put a load of effort and he was here five six days a week and he, he just got it done he, you know he had the weather on his side because it was in the summer anyway um, but it just shows you that um, you know people sort of talk about learning to fly over years i'm not recommending by the way you do a ppl in four weeks it's not not a good thing i don't think it was just his particular predicament and we didn't actually believe at that stage that even six weeks was enough but he did it in four so it just shows and that was where we launched our fast track scheme off the back of that was we used the lessons we learned from that and we wrote out to all the customers and kind of um, got their feedback and we created a course that could be done in under tw- you know under 12 months so we then began working with fancy wings who specialize in helping aspiring pilots in the bain community gaining funding for their training and since we've had four candidates enroll on pbl training from fancy wings and we're hoping to catch up with um jackson who is the um the founder of fantasy wings later on in the year on the podcast so any of the listeners in the bain community looking for scholarships please do check out fantasy wings they are a great company to work with um you know really inspiring story jackson has the, the guy who founded it and he's really really passionate about helping uh, bain community pilots get into aviation so now let's talk about scholarships in general you know where can you find scholarship opportunities so um, one of the uh, publications I've got in front of me is the flight training news now um, we get delivered these so I'm not sure where you purchase them from but if you look at flight training news and subscribe to them um, they have a list of scholarship and sponsorship opportunities um, in the UK and there is a list here I would say 
got about 20 different uh, providers on here. We've got, you know, different types of providers as well. So we've got um, scholarships for disabled people. We've got scholarships just for women. We've got Navy scholarships, all kinds of stuff. From Air Ability, that's the um, one for uh, disabled pilots. We've got Air Cadets, Air League, British Aerobatics Association, British Women Pilots Association, Microlite um, Aircraft Association, Cotswold Air Scholarships, we've got obviously the Almat Scholarship, um, Flying Scholarships for Disabled People, Girls Venture Corps, Air Cadets, the list goes on and on and on, um, including the Honourable Company of Air Pilots, which is where Jake came from. So anybody looking for scholarships, first place I would be going to is the flight training news and seeing what's available in your area. So how did you hear about our scholarship? So I heard about the Almat Scholarship through looking to go into lessons anyway and then found out with my dad that Almat did offer a scholarship so we applied for that registered interest Um, I understand that a lot of people register this interest but yeah it was the it was the inspiration day that people had to come along to to really ground themselves in the the process so just to recap on that so we had I think it was something like 480 or something people who registered interest Um, and then the people who came on the what we call the aspiring pilot stay which you attended those were the people who had the opportunity to apply for a scholarship place Um, so can you remember the aspiring pilot stay can you remember much about it or Um, so we came in the morning and went through what the course held for us so th- went through the LOPL went through the PPL and the differences on mm-hmm. like the breakdown of costs as well and yeah. how, how it would go and the progress and then we got the opportunity to talk to an airline pilot and mm-hmm. went through different helicopter and different oh, stories was it Derek was it yeah, yeah diff- he's... different stories for Africa and yeah, yeah he's a really interesting guy a huge, a huge career there which was a really like, you know he's a world hit. record holder yeah so <laughs> I, I went and saw the helicopter down Did in you? Um, Oh, well. Whilst we were down south somewhere, there, yeah. was, a, there was a the the museum was there, so right. just happened to see it, and it was he had his, his, his plaque on there, Did it? with his name <laughs> on there. So, wow, I got a photo of that. But um, yeah, it was really great to hear his stories, and really that was uh, there's the inspiration for yeah. why he should go into a career in aviation. Absolutely. And then I also got we got to go up on a flight. Yeah. Um, with. Was it Will Petter? Will, 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 yeah, possibly, yeah. Will yeah. Will's one of the instructors. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed that. Yeah. Got to see what the plane can do. Um, yeah. And then... You, you can as well. Anybody listening, you can log that flight in your yeah. logbook. So it does go towards your training. So on that day, obviously, you then got the opportunity to apply for a scholarship place as well. Yeah. Now, obviously, you were sat in a room with like 20 odd other people on that day. And we ran several of these days. Did you have any... At any point you thought, God, have I actually got a chance of getting a placement? Did you think it was a reality? Or? Well, um, with the uh, the amount of people registering interest yeah. in the first place, it was a bit, well, just give yeah. it a go. And yeah. then um, obviously I was sat on the table that's right next to us. Yeah. Around with yeah. 20 other people writing the same letter. So yeah. I thought it's, it's it can be a bit of a lucky dip, but I've got to give myself the best chance and Make, You've got to be in it to win it, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Just make um, my motives towards aviation like completely transparent to you yeah. and to give myself the best chance. Yeah, and, absolutely. Um, luckily, it pulled through. And I think even if um, even if you didn't win a scholarship place, I, yeah. think, I still think it's worth attending. Because, it is. You know, yeah. It's a lot of information. Yeah, it, yeah it, it writes your story. It shows that you are you are you want to fly. You want yeah. to are putting yourself forward for it absolutely after that then obviously we got your application um what we did was we shortlisted a load of people who had the best applications which was quite a a feat in itself to be honest because we had all these applications we had like a three-stage marking criteria and we got several people to mark them so it wasn't biased because you imagine how many people we saw it was a case of trying to remember, you know, that's yeah. why we got people to put pictures and stuff with it because it's like trying to remember faces mm. and all that kind of stuff. We went through this three-stage marking criteria and it was quite clear that some people hadn't put enough effort into the yeah. applications. So those people, you know, it, it were immediately kind of removed from the process to get us down to just six people at the end who were actually able to be put forward. And obviously you were one of those. Um, 
So a few months later, this was, I think it was, was it 31st of August, I want to say? I think it was about that yeah. sort of time. We had a room full of people. And unfortunately, you were on holiday, weren't you, at the time? Yeah, it was. And a... um, so we decided we were going to link up with you um, on Zoom. And we did a live draw. So we, the way we did the draw was we had all of the six names put into a randomizer on Google. And uh, we spanned the wheel. And you, you can tell the rest of the story because it was quite funny. But uh... So uh, I was... I... In August, I was on a cruise holiday in the Norwegian fjords and okay. we were in a Norwegian town and when we found out about the, the Zoom call mm -hmm. and the lucky draw, um, I was on a train going yeah. through the mountains Yeah, and as the wheel started spinning, yeah. uh, our train unfortunately went straight for a tunnel <laughs> and we lost complete connect, like everything went. Yeah. So we were sat there in so much suspense when for the next stop to <laughs> yeah. get off the train and just like press quick and yeah. then um by the time we got on there the call had finished it had finished yeah so if we had to ring up and the that, that was the thing because it was really uncomfortable for me as well because i'm sat in this room <laughs> enough, with it with the imagine. other five people and they're they're all a bit obviously disappointed because they hadn't won it but then they were like does he even know he's won i'm like i, I don't actually <laughs> made it know. even worse yeah so um I, yeah we spoke on the phone and i remember you sort of um i could hear people what have you won sort of thing in the background and it was all yeah. a bit weird but um no. but it was quite exciting yeah, as well you, the way i asked and i was like so uh who, who won i try, tried to be as way about it as i could yeah and you, you've won and i thought he's got to be joking this <laughs> he's, he's just pulling my leg now. Yeah. It's, it's not i'm right. quite known for winding people and up, it, but it was, <laughs> yeah it was, it was a bit of a surreal moment it yeah. was like no way this is this has just happened and yeah i think my mum was jumping up and down screaming or something <laughs> in the corner but yeah. I, I, it was yeah Thanks so much. It was, yeah, it was no, really. Well, it's um, like I say, your your application was one of the ones that really stood out. Yeah. So in terms of um, what you get with the scholarship, when when you come on the Aspiring Pilots Day, we talk through that with you. So just to be clear, it is not a fully funded scholarship. It is a part funded scholarship. But as you will agree, Leo, is a quite a chunk that goes into it. Yeah. It's well worth the the you know the application. Um, so if you're interested in getting the opportunity to win a place like Leo did, you need to attend one of our Aspiring Pilots Days. Now these are a great event, as Leo's just alluded to, for anybody who is interested in aviation, maybe looking to learn to fly. You don't necessarily even need to be interested in getting a scholarship to come along. It's just a good day to attend. And... On the day, you're going to get a presentation from myself, and we're going to go through what's included in the scholarship, how to apply on the day. We're going to talk to you about learning to fly. We're going to talk to you about different licensing options, different training options. So we've got the um, learn at your own pace basis. We've got the fast track basis. Uh, we, you know, like I say, we talk about different licensing options, LAPL and PPL. Um, Something a little bit different this year is we wanted to add some more value to the day. So the previous year, you got a trial lesson. This year, we're going to double up. So we're going to put um, passengers in the aircraft with the candidate on the lesson and then switch people around. So you're going to get a flight as a passenger and a flight under instruction. So you get two flights. Obviously, you can't log the one as a passenger, but it just gives you some more time in the air, yeah. which I thought was quite, yeah, quite good. Sounds great. So it's uh, something a bit different we, we decided to do this year. Um, then we're going to have Derek back in again. So Derek, um, he is a former Flybe captain on um, Embraer 195 and um, Dash 8 as well. Um, he's a former bush pilot, so he's got a really interesting story about his days flying in the bush, dropping off aid uh, in Africa. And he's also the helicopter uh, world speed record holder, <laughs> still is to this day. Um, so we'll talk to you about his uh, world speed record and the helicopter and the links. Um, and you're going to get your opportunity to sit down with the team and talk through, you know, how to apply for the scholarship and actually fill in your application on the day. So these aspiring pilots days are available now to book. We've got four dates available. We have the 26th of July, we have the 2nd of August, the 19th of August, and the 26th of August. All of these are around the summer holidays as well, so if you're in education, you can come. Um, to be clear, there will be no other dates in 2023, so please put these dates in your diary, get yourself booked onto one of them, 
um, but we will not be adding additional days. So if you come to us and say, I'm really interested, you need to find a way to come on one of these days, okay? And we're limiting them this year because we want to give a better level of service to the people who come. We're not going to have 20 people or 24 people like it was last time. It's 12 people per event, okay? And it will be a full day event. So you need to allow the time to be here, okay? Um, so 12 places on each event. In the first instance, though, you need to register your interest in the scholarship via the link on our homepage of the website, almac.co.uk. I will put the link in the show notes as well, so you have it there. You'll be then added to our mailing list, so you get the updates on the scholarship, which I think is is what you got, Leon. It'll yep. tell you what you need to do next. Um, and there's also a link in the show notes for the Aspiring Pilots Day. You need to book yourself onto one of those days. It is a paid day, okay? It's not free. You have to pay to come on that day. Now, the reason for that is because we use the funds that we make from these days to create the the budget to give away one of these places. For full transparency, that is the reason why you need to pay for it. Obviously, you're going to get a flight on it as well. And on the day of the Aspiring Pilots Day, you'll need to bring your letter with you. Okay, so you bring your letter with you. It needs to be 300 words or more to outline why you are a deserving candidate for the placement. Can you remember writing your letter, Leo? Or? Um, so I was, I was at home, uh, with my mum thinking through like, yeah. like a CV almost yeah, um, yeah. as to the attributes that a pilot needs and yeah. being determined, keeping with it, sticking with it, courage and stuff. Yeah. And then I went through experiences in my life where I'd, I'd shown that yeah. and like to list through them. It was, yeah. a, I'd say it was a bit more of a quirky, uh, application that I, I submitted, but clearly it It works yeah Yeah. so so i think you know the the key is make yourself stand out um and and just be honest you know with why you think you know you would be deserving of it why you know because ultimately on other scholarships if i'm being brutally honest i've seen other people that i think won scholarships who perhaps somebody else may have been more deserving yeah you know and that's that's a problem to me because you want the person who comes on the scholarship to be fully motivated to finish the course yeah because otherwise there might be somebody else who's got a much stronger passion for aviation who wants to do it and they've they've lost out so if you're thinking that it's something that you're you're not quite sure about please don't apply because somebody else might be really sure and you kind of take that chance away from them so there's there's going to be at least one place we give away this year again depends on how much money we raise but i always guarantee one place so even if we don't raise enough money we'll, we'll still honor it and do it um i did have a few kind of um how can I put it? There's sort of skeptics on the last one saying, "Oh, I wouldn't. There wouldn't be a scholarship place." Da 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 da. Um, Leo, <laughs> he's sat in front of me. Leo, yes, you Here are I on the yes. <laughs> you are on a scholarship, so it does exist. So yeah, anybody who was uh, kind of uh, criticising me last time, Leo is here. <laughs> So if you want to follow Leo's journey, by the way, um, we haven't done too much with him yet on social media because we wanted to get him kind of settled into the course first before we start hounding him for pictures on Instagram and everything else. But Leo's very kindly going to document his uh, progress with us when he goes flying um, and search on Instagram and tag us in it. Um, We're also going to be speaking to you through your your course of your training. And we're hoping in the next few weeks, providing... You get your exams done. Get your exams done. Yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> your dad told me to kick your ass. Um, get, get your exams done and then you can go solo because in a few weeks I want to see you stood in front of an aeroplane with a certificate with a big smile on your face and I've just done it. So yeah, it was great meeting up with you, Leo. Have you got anything you want to share with anybody with, other than what we spoke about? Um, so for the people listening, if you are interested in the the scholarship with that letter, it's I see it as an example of a small example of how you're going to treat the course yeah so the more work you put into showing the reason why you should have the scholarship yeah. it's, it's going to it's going to yeah, speak absolutely. volumes about you absolutely um so yeah it's just showing what you have to give and i think it's good practices should. as well you know because if you're applying for jobs in airlines yeah, and stuff exactly. like that it's, it's just learning how to put yourself across to people in a good yeah. manner mm. and also i think it's a good thing to have on your cv that you want a scholarship exactly it you is know, yeah it is really good especially if you want to go into a job in aviation absolutely it's, it's showed that you've obviously put yourself out there yeah absolutely so yeah if you do want to come on the aspiring pilots day like i say the links are in the show notes you will need to to pay to come on these days the price is on the tickets only 12 places per per day 
but it's a great fun day even if you're not looking to uh, get a scholarship place it's a really good day to attend and w- would you like to come back to another one to speak to people Leo if you're able or yeah I probably am yeah, yeah. So it's, it's during the summer holidays yeah, isn't yeah, it yeah. So, so I um, definitely would be able to so you might even get to meet Leo on one of these days <laughs> um, so hopefully we can organise that but yeah it's a great fun day perhaps we can get you a flight on one of those days how about hopefully, that hopefully that would be brilliant <laughs> <laughs> there we go awesome so thanks for coming on Leo pleasure to speak to you Good and to speak uh, to you too if you enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe uh ding the notification so you uh, ding the bell rather for the notification so you get updated as to the next episodes coming out and just to plug another show that we're about to launch we have a new show coming out it is the aviator show and the aviator show we spoke to you about that briefly Leo, i think last time you were in the aviator show is not for necessarily for student pilots it's for anybody interested in aviation yep. and what it is it's myself and other members trying to fly as many different aircrafts that we can go into different airfields all the time and just having fun yeah it's the purpose of it is just literally to show people having fun even people making mistakes learning from those mistakes you know those mistakes sharing their experiences so if anybody would like to come on one of our flights on the aviator show we can organize that or even if you have your own airplane and you'd like to appear on the show and bring your own airplane along you know that would be great we'd love to do that with you um and we're going to go and fly to a load of decent uh, destinations go and have some fun and just yeah basically just go and have fun I show the social it. side of it exactly yeah, yeah. And, and also just show that you know, people do make mistakes as well. Yeah. And let's talk about those mistakes, you know. We're all it's, human and we're here to learn. Yeah, basically. exactly. It's In fact, when you record these things, you realise how bad your radio <laughs> is. <laughs> Stuff like that, you know, it's all good fun. But uh, but yeah, so check that out. That's coming up soon. Aviator Show. Um, it will be on our uh, um, YouTube channel at Almat Flying Academy and it's Almat TV. Okay. Thanks, everybody. And we'll see you on the next episode. If you like this episode, please like, subscribe and ding the bell to receive notifications of the next episode.